They're the ones who make it happen. They're the ones who get it done. And that's why we shine the... Spotlight on them on Business for Breakfast. It's time now for the Business Leaders Spotlight on Money Radio. Well, it is that time of the week once again. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 735, we sit down and visit with some of the Valley's business leaders, men and women, making a difference right here in our own backyard and our communities. And our next guest is doing just that in Scottsdale. Let me introduce you to Shandy Chernow. She is the founder and owner of uh, a great company that I think is really going to make a difference for a lot of people. It is called Certistar Tech Platform. Let's welcome Shandy to the program. Good morning, Shandy. How are you? Good morning. I'm great. Thank you so much for having me on this morning. I'm well, really excited to be here. I appreciate you coming on. So we're going to talk about food allergies. And uh, I am 44 years old. And when I grew up, I don't really remember hearing anyone allergic to anything. Uh, milk, maybe. You know, lactose intolerant. I've heard of that. Peanuts here and there. Peanuts yeah. for sure. But then after that, I was like, I don't really remember that. Now, go back the last 15 years, it is like everyone's allergic to something. Did we just not know then and just kind of lived our life? Or you see where I'm going? Like, where did these come from? Yeah, it's a common question that I get a lot. So, and and I agree with you. I mean, I didn't really, you know, hear a lot of that when I was growing up either. Um, There's a couple of different factors that people think that that's happened. One is that it's become less stigmatized. People are more comfortable talking about it and uh, people, you know, are, are being more social and wanting to go out. To eat, which is exactly where you know Sir Star came from, wanting to go out to eat with food allergies. Right. But you know, there's a lot of speculation around you know the pesticides usage and GMO usage, and there's not really any good way to be able to prove or disprove any of that. But that's kind of the feeling that the trajectory of allergies has sort of followed those uh, those same paths. A lot of times, companies are started uh, because the owner. It's like, screw this. This is happening to me. I want to fix it, right? I mean, to put it into kind of layman's terms. And and that's really what happened. You have food allergies. You just told me you're an awesome date uh, because you're allergic to like a lot of really good things. I am (laughs) super fun to go out to eat with. I am allergic to peanuts, tree nuts, shellfish, and pork. So whoever I'm dating has to keep the... Pork. I've never heard that. Like someone allergic to pork. The bacon wrapped scallops are out for me. Yeah, that's a whole lot of... It's stuff. unfortunate, but true. Yeah, okay. With like a peanut sauce on top, just bad yeah. news all together. That would be perfect. Now, when did you find out and, and how serious was your allergy? Like, was sure. it bad? Yeah, so I found out at 28, my first, first food allergy, which was pork, by the way, out of nowhere. Uh, when I was 28 years old, uh, 15% of people who have food allergies are adult onset. It can happen to anybody at any time with any food. There doesn't appear to be a hereditary component to it. Um, and there's 170 different foods that have been known to cause food allergic reactions, although we hear a lot about, you know, peanuts and milk and wheat and gluten, stuff like that. Um, now, you have children mm-hmm. as well. Do, do they also have the allergies? Nope. They love the shellfish and the bacon. <laughs> and you're like, great. Thanks, guys. <laughs> um, so you smell this stuff while you're making a bacon. You know you know what bacon tastes like. You've eaten bacon in your life. I have. Just, uh, so how hard is that as you do try to go out? and realize what could be cooked in bacon fat or, you know, have touch come in contact. Yeah. It's tough. The other ones aren't so bad because a lot of other people have them, but the pork one is really unusual. So one of the reasons we started Certistar was because, uh, you know, people who have all these other different types of food allergies and combinations of food allergies kind of make the heads of restaurant staff explode a little bit when we go in and try to stay safe to eat. And so Certistar solves that problem. Uh, We don't discriminate between any of the different foods. And we try to keep people as safe as possible and eliminate that great, big, long, stressful conversation that can happen in the restaurant. Certistar is the name of the company, newly launched tech per, uh, platform. The owner and founder is Shandy Chernow. Uh, Shandy has been uh, here in the Valley and doing this in Scottsdale. I, I want to ask about I, gluten is a big one. Um, I do feel like a lot of restaurants now, they have the gluten-free menu, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes when you go to some of those restaurants that maybe – uh, English isn't necessarily the first like, in speaking. You know what I mean? And and I have a mother-in-law who had very bad allergy to gluten, and we try to be very safe, but she's gone to, you know, had Chinese food before where they thought it was gluten-free. It wasn't. There's gluten in soy. There's gl- soy sauce. Mm-hmm. I mean, you got to be very, very careful. So explain to me how I would use Certistar, you know, in more depth to protect 
the ones I love that I don't want them to be affected by whatever. Yeah, you bring a great point. You know, there's language barrier issues in restaurants occasionally. There's training issues. Um, there's age issues, right? Like you, you just don't know what the staff is going to actually know about the ingredients sure. and the food. So we take that uh, unsurety, if you will, away. We provide an individualized menu for the customer, whatever their combination of allergies may be. We take the entire menu in all of its detail into Certistar, and then it takes about three seconds. We run a search. We give it back to you in green, yellow, red, so stoplight format, mm. allergen-friendly, modifications you could make to make it allergen-friendly, and then unsafe. Or, green, or, uh, so green light, go. Green light, go. Red light. <laughs> red light, no go. No go. Yellow light, we can make it go, yeah, but you need to do it. these things. I got it. Very, yep. very cool. Uh, I know you've teamed up with Chompy's, one of my favorite restaurants in town. Uh, when you come to gluten and pork, I think they got a lot of that uh, i don't know about <laughs> shellfish but uh explain the kind of the correlation with chompies and how great it is to have them on board yeah i mean chompies has been a really great partner of ours they've got five locations in the valley all five are using certistar uh, they have said such great things about it that they really used to stress out over food allergy customers and now they don't stress about it anymore they know you know unequivocally what it is that they can serve their customers and so they feel much more comfortable. It's taking them less time, um, and they can make sure that they're keeping people safe. We are going to continue our visit with Shandy Chernow. She is the uh, owner and founder of Star. Again, our uh, business leader spotlight on this Monday morning shines on Shandy Chernow. She is the owner of Star, and she joins us this morning. Um, we talked about allergies. You said a lot can be adult onset, right? There's also a lot of times little kids are allergic to something, and parents go, man, I sure hope... You know, little Tommy or little Sally grows out of it. That can happen as well, correct? Absolutely, yeah. There's a lot of kids that do grow out of their allergies, um, which is awesome. There's a lot of kids that don't. So I know we've talked quite a bit about, you know, going out to eat in restaurants, but Certistar also has a schools product that helps kids, um, you know, have school lunch or school breakfast For and sure. have that school keep them as safe as possible as well. You know, you think about all the different places that you go away from your home and you have food available to you. All of those different places, you know, planes, trains, and automobiles, um, you know, uh, cruise lines, hospitality, hotels, any of those are possible sort of star customers, places that we could help out to be less stressed out about feeding their food allergic guests. I think the next step is just for, like me, uh, an app or something that says, hey, dude, don't eat that because you're going to get fat. Can we make that? <laughs> Can we just do that one? Because that would be, that's my problem when I go out to eat. I'm like, I, I think that's probably pretty low calorie and it's not at all. Uh, all right. Explain to me how someone could find out more, like uh, the website. Yep. What, what's the best way to go about reaching Yeah, out? so our website is just certistar.com. Uh, any of the social medias, we're at certistar, which is C-E-R-T-I-S-T-A-R. So certistar on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, our website, all of right. those things. Where, uh, where do you see this in the next couple of years? Where do you hope to see it? I would love to see an individualized menu for every guest at every restaurant and every other place that they can possibly eat. That's pretty cool. You think it could happen? Here's hoping. Here's hoping. That's why we're here. That's right. Uh, Shandy Chernow, the founder of Scottsdale Base Serta Star. So cool to hear your story. I'm glad you're doing what you're doing. I know a lot of people are going to go online and, and check it out today. Keep us posted. We'll catch up again soon. Okay? Well, do. I'd love to come back. Thanks so much for having me. Uh, my pleasure. That is Shandy Chernow. She is the... Uh, owner of Scottsdale Bay Certistar, really making a difference here with food allergies in Arizona.